Earlier this year, the Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO, announced it planned to dump more than 1.25 million tons of nuclear water from its crippled Fukushima power plant into the sea. This was not a first. The ocean has been used by humans as a disposal ground for radioactive waste for a long time. Between 1946 and 1993, 13 countries used ocean dumping as a means to dispose of radioactive waste. The Soviet Union, the UK, Switzerland, the USA, Belgium, France, the Netherlands, Japan, Sweden, New Zealand, Germany, Italy, and South Korea. However, in the 1990s, international treaties came into force finally banning ocean dumping. The United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, or UNCLOS, says that all states have the obligation to protect and preserve the ocean, and not to transfer toxic materials or pollution from one area to another. It has been ratified by over 160 countries, including China, South Korea, and Japan, but not the United States. According to TEPCO's plan, Fukushima's contaminated water will be filtered to remove isotopes, leaving only tritium in the water. TEPCO has promised to dilute the water to less than 1,500 becquerels per liter, arguing that this is lower than the regulatory standard for discharge. However, the company has not been very successful at filtering out radioactive chemicals in the past. In 2018, the newspaper Kyoto News reported that high levels of toxic substances had been detected in water filtered by TEPCO's advanced liquid processing system. Up to 62.2 becquerels per liter of iodine-129 were found in the water. This contributed to further distrust and resentment towards TEPCO and the Japanese government. The problem with Japan's dumping plan is that a lack of transparency has made it difficult to assess how free of toxic materials the ALPS filtered water is. Currently, 62 radioactive chemicals other than tritium can be found in the contaminated Fukushima water. Strontium-90, one of the most hazardous chemicals, has a half-life of 29 years. Carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,730 years. ID-129 has a half-life of 16 million years. This means that the radioactive chemicals in the water may not decay for thousands of years. The United States, which has not ratified the UNCLOS Treaty, has supported Japan's dumping decision. The two countries have the world's longest-standing partnership in nuclear energy. But in many countries, including Japan, the US and Australia, public opinion is on the opposite side of the government. Polling shows the Japanese public has been consistently against disposing nuclear water into the ocean. In the United States, surveys show 21% are against it with only 2% for it. In Australia, about 36% were strongly opposed to Japan's decision, with only 1% supporting it. Safety standards on releasing Japan's nuclear water have not been set, and international organizations have not yet reached an agreement. Should the International Atomic Energy Agency, the UN watchdog, be the one to make the call? Just keep in mind, as UNCLOS notes, the ocean is the common heritage of mankind.